Well, hello. Welcome back to Color in Canvas. And you're probably wondering why the opening frame is all this paint and not a canvas like it usually is. And let me explain why I'm doing that this time, because often people will ask what colors I used in the paintings, and I honestly can't even explain the color because I am a mixer. I love to mix my colors together. Some people will use the color straight out of the tube, and that's awesome, but that isn't me. <laughs> About the only colors I use straight out of the tube are black and white, and everything else tends to be a blend to get the exact shade that I want. So I wanted to show you, like this is literally my process this morning of trying to put together my colors for the next pour is I have blue and purple and pearl medium in one cup and pink and red and gold and pearl medium in another gold and yellow mixed together, two kinds of green, a little bit of gold in all of them, a little bit of pearl in all of them. I'm going to thin them out with Floetrol. I'm going to add some water. Sometimes I don't know exactly where I'm going until I'm there. So um, that's it. Sometimes I can tell you exactly what's in them and sometimes I can't. So this morning we cannot. We're custom mixing colors for today's pour and we're going to do an open cup pour and uh, I'm going to move all of this away and we'll get started. I want our base coat to be pretty thin so I've put you know, this was this is our Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic mixed with Floetrol, and I put in a fair bit of water. As you can see, it's not really leaving a mound. It's really, really thin. And that's what I want for the base coat. And and this is going to be one of those uh, techniques where you go, oh, so much paint got poured off and wasted. And I never waste paint. Trust me, I never waste paint. This is why I'm pouring on top of a surface that's covered in plastic, because I'm going to scrape up all the leftover paint and reuse it at a later time. And I've actually used up all of my leftover paint right now. I used it all up on the last couple of pours, so I don't have any to use for a base coat right now, so I'm using white.
Um, here we are with our leftover drops that we had from the last pour that we did. All the colors that were in our cups, this is what poured off the painting. It was an open cup pour and I always have to end up pouring a ton of paint off of that, but none of this will be wasted. A lot of people are concerned that, you know, this is a wasteful art form and it doesn't have to be. Um, just because something poured off right now doesn't mean that it has to go in the trash. Uh, absolutely not. I always reuse my paints. And so I thought before I scrape these up into a cup and save them for a later date, I am going to dip. So I have this 5x7 canvas. It's from the dollar store. It's nothing expensive. I use them all the time when I have little leftovers of paint. And I just want to dip this and see what happens. And if it doesn't look good, I'm going to scrape it off. It's still going to go in the cup. It's still going to get reused for another pour later on. So let's just dip this guy in here and see whether something pretty happens. I'm just going to drop him right in there. There he goes. I can see the air bubbles where the canvas is not making contact with the paint because this is a very thin, inexpensive canvas. So it's in contact now. I'm actually going to push it down just a bit. And go over the whole thing. Make sure that there's good contact between the canvas and the paint. Try not to move it around too much. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to lift it towards me in that direction. One, two, three, here we go. Oh, and there was a spot. We missed a spot. I'm going to see whether I can fix that with my knife. Just pull that paint down. And with our little skewer, I'm going to find some green. Oop, not so great. I almost want to dip it again right now, but I think I'm going to dip it again. There's an air bubble here. Maybe we won't dip it again. Maybe, yeah, we'll dip it. Let's, whoops, let's dip it again. I don't normally dip a wet canvas. It's usually done with a dry canvas, so I don't know what's going to happen here. But I didn't like that spot that didn't get covered, so let's try again. Oh, much better. Oh, look how delicate that is. Really, really, really pretty. I love it. I'm glad that I dipped. There's a little bit of this edge that isn't covered. I'm just going to dip into it like that, encourage that paint to go over the edge, just like that. Now it's covered, and I really like it. I'm tilting it a bit. That's gorgeous. That is so, so pretty. I need somewhere to put it down and torch it. I'm going to torch it later, but wow. Look at those beautiful little details, all from this leftover puddle. And uh, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to torch it in a minute because I'm not going to torch it while I'm holding it. We will torch it after. And the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm not going to dip another one, or maybe I will. What the heck, I have two. I'm going to put my pins in it quickly. Let's see what happens. It may have gone too far. Dipping like three times in one spot may not be good. There may not be enough paint left down here to get a good result, but we'll try it. What the heck? I can always scrape it off. Here we go, one, two, three. Perfect. Perfect, I love those details. Can you see that? Absolutely lovely. I'm gonna set that aside with its friend. 
and I will torch them afterwards. But now what are we doing with this mess? Well, I have a little bit of white paint left. This paint is extremely thin because I used it for a base uh, on an open cup pour. So I'm not going to do another pour where I need the paint this thin. So I'm going to use all of this, scrape it up, put it into my cup, just like that. And all of it is going to get mixed together. It's probably going to be kind of a light blue, green, gray looking concoction when it's all in there. There's a lot of gold in here, so there's a lot of colors in the makeup, not to mention all the white that was left in the cup. But this will not be wasted. I never waste paint. Paint, like first of all, it's not environmentally friendly to be wasteful of anything. And secondly, art supplies are expensive. And why throw a cup of paint in the garbage when you can use a cup of paint and not have to replace it buying something new? It's just the way to go, and it doesn't take that long. I'm not going to clean off my little garbage bag here. I'm going to let that go. If there was a little bit of paint on my painting surface, I would actually just wipe it up with a paper towel or a cloth or something and use it again. But this is a bit of a mess, so I'm going to let it go. So here we go. So we had nothing but leftovers. Stir, stir, stir. And look at that. We have a beautiful light gray. Gorgeous color, actually. People pay money to buy colors like this. And I have that color to use for a base coat on another painting. And if I did a, a painting that was a little monochromatic, like, you know, like a black and white, which I love to do, uh, this would be a fantastic base coat. So there you go. So see, not wasting, reusing. And I'm even going to scrape in those few little drops that were left in the cups too. Everything goes in there. Waste nothing if you're on a painting budget. You can also separate these. I have a whole bunch of cups in the other room with lids that I bought at the dollar store. And if I have extra drops of each of these colors, I usually mix them in. There's virtually nothing left here, so I'm not going to go through the trouble. But if there was more in here, I definitely would set them aside. And, you know, I'll have many, many ounces of paint in those containers in about a month. And then I will do entire pours straight out of the leftovers. So there you go. Look at that. See, now it's just going to darken it up. It's going to change the tint a little bit. But, you know, there's all that extra paint that didn't go to waste. So there we go. All right. Saving paint. Another thing that you should think about when you're pouring. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. And uh, go paint something beautiful.